Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. And today I'm just going to be showing you how to customize your status bar, as you can see up here, using the exposed status bar mods. So, pretty much the first thing we're going to want to do is obviously download this. Now, for you to be able to download this, you're going to need to have the exposed framework and a rooted device. So once you have those two, you're just going to jump into the exposed installer and search for Exposed Status Bar. And we're going to be doing the SGS version. So we're just going to tap on that, scroll down, make sure it's the latest version, which is 1.0.2, hit download, it'll download. And then of course, like with all exposed modules, we're going to have to go back and then in the modules, make sure to check the box next to Exposed um, Status Bar. And then we click that and then we go to framework or you can just restart your device and then just reboot or soft reboot. Now once that's done we can actually jump into the app and I can show you sort of what it does. So we just go to my app drawer and it's right here, exposed status bar installer. And here you can obviously change the things about your status bar. So as you can see here my clock is centered. If I want to remove that I'll just click that. If I want to add the AM and PM I can just click that or obviously the reverse if I want the reverse. Um, and go back for the battery. I can change the settings there. I can remove the battery, show battery percentage, etc. etc. These are just things that you can customize on your status bar. Um, but most of the stuff that I like is changing the icons. So you can see my battery is a little different than probably the standard and then changing the color. So for those, for color settings, we're just going to go here. You can see where it says click for color. It's red right now for the clock. All I have to do is click on this box and I can use the color picker, whatever color I want. So let's just do blue and then right here it says please press on new color to apply. So I'm going to press on the blue. It's now applied. I can go back. I can also change the icon settings. So here you can show or override the defaults just by checking these boxes. They're all just override GPS, override, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then if you do have um, packs that you downloaded, icon packs, which are linked to in the full tutorial, you can add those to the folder. I'll actually just show you exactly what you would need to do. So if you downloaded an icon pack from the link that I've provided, you're going to have to go and search for it in my files. It'll be in your downloads, so SD card, and then actually it's in my external. And then I go to download and then I would search for it and all you have to do you tap you hold and you're gonna move it although I'm not going to but you're gonna move it to the XSBM folder and once you do that it'll be available to use in um, the status bar app so that's how you add icon packs so now we're just going to go back. I've already added my icon packs, so I'm just going to go back into the app and then show you exactly what you do. So once you've added them, they'll appear in here where it says select to select icon pack to import. We're going to select there and then you can see my icon packs are in here. So right now I'm using this. I'll do the rainbow theme because it's pretty much the, the most apparent one. Um, you can also remember that I did change my clock. It's no longer going to be in the center and it's going to be blue. So to apply those changes, you're going to go back, back, and then you see it says apply changes. We're going to hit apply. It'll hop out. It'll say it's taking into account, whatever, whatever. And then my change will be applied shortly. So let's just hop back in. And, whoops, exit, sorry about that. Bring it down. Let's go back up. All right. So you can see right there that my clock is again blue. My battery's changed to the battery that's part of the theme. And the rainbow is for the Wi-Fi. So you can see that obviously that's rainbow colored. So that's um that's really just how you would use the app. Super simple. If you don't want to use icon packs, you can of course, like I showed you before, just change the battery color and etc. just using the the basic um applications and system tweaks. So again. It's called Status Bar Mods, and um, you can modify your status bar. So again, it's an exposed module. It's free, of course, like most of them are. 
you will need the Expose Framework and a rooted device. But once you have those two, you can continue to customize your toolbar, your um, status bar, as much as you want. So just make sure to check that out in the full tutorial. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.